Hey, can we talk to you we for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Whoo. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlers and need How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm. Any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Till we meet again! Another of Cavassia's poems.
Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. <laughs> But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <laughs> Keep moving. Ah! I think we need some special equipment to use here. Over there. Sorry to bother if you. If you're selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. Jump! This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're as tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. 
That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Darling is standing in leader. It doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel.
I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. What is that? Dead. The dragon sculpture is not bad. I think we need some special equipment to use this. I 
think I see something. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose.
that a watchtower? Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... Thank you. It's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. <laughs> Behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. Here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> wow, there's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Watch your right! 
Like they chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it sticks up in the process. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something. <laughs> Get 
Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. Is that pure Spartalfheim slag? Give it here. Whatever you need. I'll heat up the forge. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Amir. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. See? Not now. Oh, glad to see that still works. Nice. Nice. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay, there was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor, who built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to fear before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Enough. We will continue later. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet.
Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Hello? Huh. Seems abandoned. <laughs> Those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. Whoa, what? That guy's was huge! Yes, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's got to be the right spot. Those barrels. I smell fuel. That yeah. spark from your blades would cause quite a boom.
I think we could break through the ground here. We found a high enough place to drop from. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. Mm. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Yeah, Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> Wasn't so hard.
You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. <laughs> So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Ah, but enough of that for now. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty. The Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, 
The giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Brung near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Amir, what do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah, sorry, Mimir. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Ground looks weak down here, Father. Break through the ground from up there? Oh! Ah. 
That's the key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Huh. Lucky us. Appreciate it. Want something in particular? Nothing appeals to you? Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike.
What? So that's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Talk here. Maybe there's another way up.
Think that crane still works? <laughs> Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... No. Oh. 